Hello, hello, and welcome to B6 Stop Motion. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to import a reference layer, a reference image, or a reference video to your Dragon Frame project. So let's open our Dragon Frame. I have a bunch of coffee beans here that maybe you want to create a logo out of coffee beans. So instead of tracing the logo on the paper, you can import that logo to your Dragon Frame project. And I'm going to show you how. Let's open our guide layers. If you don't want to use the one on the right side, you can always use the floating bar. They have the same exact settings, but I want to stick to the guide layers for this tutorial. And we need to find the media layers. So where it says media layers, we are going to click on the plus button and that would give us a few options. So you can load a movie if you want to try and duplicate the movement of an animation or a movie that you have, or you can load an image, typically very useful for if you're doing a logo stop motion, which is what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to load my image and I'm going to find my logo, which I have in my desktop, and it gives you a preview of what you're importing. And I'm going to click on open reference image. There we go, here is our um, logo imported. However, a few things that you probably noticed right off the bat is that you can't see your live view anymore. There is a way to fix that problem. We gotta find our media layer on the right side and where it says 100% transparency, we can turn it down to whatever works for your project. All right, so 20% works or 15 for my project. Or also, if you want and you prefer it, you can move these layers around as well. I don't know if you need it or not, but you can move them around if you need it. Another uh, thing that you're probably seeing is this logo is huge and I need to scale it down. So with that layer selected in our media layers, we get this scale option on the bottom right corner. So we can scale it down to what works for our setting. Right, that works for what I have. And another thing that you can do is move your logo around by just grabbing it and placing it anywhere that you need to. This is basically all you need to know for importing an image or a video. If you are importing a video each individual frame is going to be different uh, but this is basically the process now i'm going to show you guys how you might need to use this for a logo stop motion i'll put this in fast forward and we'll come back and look at it All right, so I'm done um, tracing the logo with my coffee beans. I also animated this uh, line around it. So let's take a look at it. So I just created a very simple stop motion using my reference layer. I hope this inspires you to come up with stop motion ideas. This was a pretty quick stop motion. You might want to spend a little bit more time on yours. I hope you found 
value in this tutorial if you did please hit the like button and if you are a dragon frame and stop motion fan don't forget to subscribe i have a lot of videos and tutorials coming up soon if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in a the comment section below and uh, thank you for watching i hope i see you in the next one